Have you ever noticed that cameras shoot at 29.97 frames per second instead of the expected 30? That tiny 0.1% difference, however, adds up. Over a minute, you lose almost two frames at 30 frames per second, which means your time code drifts away from real clock time. To address this, time code systems introduced a thing called drop frame. And this fixes that discrepancy by skipping the first two frame numbers at the start of every minute, except when that minute is a multiple of 10. The result of this is that your time code stays aligned with the wall clock time. But here's the thing. It really doesn't matter whether you use drop frame or not. What matters is consistency. As long as every camera and audio recorder in your setup has been set to use the same time code mode, you'll end up with no problem syncing things in post. Now, personally, I don't use drop frame largely because it's not available when shooting at 24 frames per second. But if your client requires clock accurate time code to be on your files, then you will need to turn it on when shooting at either 30, well, 29.97 or 60, 59.96 frames per second. For the whole story on time code on the EOS R5 and R5 Mark II, check out the linked video.